the war to end all wars. In this part, we start with a new chapter whose name was used to tell us since it wasn't clever enough. Since I wasn't clever enough to think up a movie title, starring Peter J. Gallup in wartime threats, chock full of power outages, bombs, and burn thieves. I hate burn thieves so much. Well, you don't need to be Captain Obvious. Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Darkness Sandy's Requiem Blind. So yeah, after minutes of searching around, I finally stumbled upon something. I just assumed this was a Sandy effect, but no. Yeah, we can survey the area, so that's what we were doing with uh, Roberto, so I figured, hey, why not? I mean, okay, just, just survey it. Maybe this will do something. Oh, wow. An unseen force guides Alexis's hand toward the painting. Compared to look behind it, she reaches out and pulls back the painting and discovers a chapter page hidden behind okay, it. Okay, an unseen force guides Alex's hand towards the painting. I heard her look behind it. She reaches out and pulls back the painting and discovers a chapter page hidden behind it. Yeah, go ahead. Since the familiarity overcomes her as the, uh, and as the chapter page comes to her fingers, so does her realization that Roberto's spirit is aiding her. Okay. A war to end all wars. Sounds interesting. He made a slight alteration, technically. Uh, and that. The Black Guardian grows restless, my liege. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. There is no choice in the matter. It must remain, and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. Moving its shoulders, but no. I think I have an idea of what the next chapter will entail. Not really looking forward to it, but that's the case. Moving its shoulder, but no. Again, and, uh. Um. You know, whoever's in the chat will just, like, you know, die with ease. I don't know, we'll see. And, nope, let me back up this save. And why the hell not? <laughs> Never have too many backup saves. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead. War to end all wars. At most, it becomes unnecessary. The war well, to end all wars okay. defined how mankind looked at war um, and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral, oh, crap. now transformed into a field hospital. Where's the other guy? France in 1916. I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare. Shelling, machine guns, mustard guns, rip, pierce, and burn to flesh. Men so gauze their own urine to stop the insidious gas. Ugh. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wounded. Scaling up a past the first aid stations, I see. Okay, Peter Jacob. I don't know why. I was getting a scout feel from him, like scout from Team Fortress 2. 
I don't know why. Damn, that is a big magic meter, but not a lot of sanity. Okay, anyway, let's check the items here. We got a lucky penny. No coin, mark the peculiar manner as hold, uh, held sentimental value for someone. Whoever holds the penny will undoubtedly receive good fortune. Let us hope so. Flash powder. Huh, for use with a photographic flash pan. And I'm guessing this is the flash pan. Stun some enemies. Hmm. Uh -huh. Interesting, okay. Well, okay. We're ready to go. Let's check everything that's on here. Soldier's letter. Yeah, pick it up. <laughs> Covered with bloodstained. Uh, for crying out loud. Wait, that way! Covered with bloodstained sheets, these poor souls are passed f from this world. For them, the suffering is over, but for those around, the ordeal continues. Alright, let us read the soldier's letter. First letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love, Margaret. I submitted to this hospital on Tuesday. The damage caused to my legs was slight, but there is no way that I could ever walk normally again. I hate this place. Every day I remind that I will never be able to do the things I love. The hospital is a very strange place, converted from an old cathedral. There is an odd atmosphere around it. Silent! But for the words of the wounded, yeah, words of the wounded, calling out in the night, there is no doubt it is haunted. What I find most odd in this place is that you never see anyone leave during the day. It's not right. No goodbyes or farewells, just an empty bed when you wake. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we're right in the middle of the battlefield then, huh? I'm gonna wait until I explore everything in here thoroughly. By the way, I'm making it my personal uh, goal to start playing a bit more uh, intelligently now. The faint sound of moaning emanates from behind the linen veils. Whispered utterances, frantic prayers to loved ones, words offered only by those who face their mortality. Because, yeah, I have not been using my magic like I should have been, so everything's going to be enchanted. I'm going to, like, take advantage of the... Now he's decided to enchant his... Well, he did in the previous chapter, but it's like for a good many episodes he wasn't. Before that chapter, so... Type advantages, and like, yeah, it's just smooth sailing from here on out, hopefully. Stress. The soldier is rather distressed, perhaps. He has lost a lot of friends through the trenches. <clears throat> Sorry, fell on there or something. <clears throat> I don't know really, but I felt uh, stop for a moment. Anyway, of the summer, he confides that the only stories are sad ones, and that the only true heroes are are in the mortuary. All right. Can I talk to you? Nice. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ready to go to sleep yet. We need to explore. We need to stop the darkness from spreading. Because the last two chapters did not do a good job of doing that. Okay, we got the Zelotov sigil, or sigil, right there. Is it sigil or sigil? Okay. Just doing some pre preliminary exploration. You gotta get this out the way. Oh my god, you better be a man. You're just running a short distance, you're fine. The guard frowns and ushers PLA from the organ. He explains that he's one of the few antiques in the region that has so far survived the war, and that while he's alive, it will remain intact. Yeah, right. I will mess with this organ as much as I want to. There's a flashing item right there and I want it, but I, yeah, okay. Just wait till I get a weapon. I'm killing you. Not uh, you. Okay. The guard quietly, but you know, he strongly points out that the area is often limited to civilians. How dare these soldiers try to protect me. Ooh, sealed envelope. Sealed envelope. Okay. Move you. What do you say about this? Yeah, let's go ahead. Ooh, soldiers' orders. 
Official note on Army Regulation Stationery. The note reads, Private Thompson. By order of Lieutenant Hargraves, on behalf of HRH George V, Oh, His Royal Highness, okay. Haha, -ha, yeah, I know things. You are to leave your post of duty and rally in the street outside Oublier Cathedral. Further orders will be presented, uh, yeah, presented at the rally point. God save the king! Can I open this? No, okay. This is saying the same thing. I see. Okay. Man, I wish you could jump in this game. He just punched. Oh, we got some more casualties. Are they gonna rise from the dead and I'm gonna have to kill them? Abruptly, the guy that asks if Peter has clothes for the old tower, as it is a restricted area. Okay, well, nothing left to do in here but, uh, go to the next room. Seriously, man. Like, do some cardio or something. You could say that about most of the people, though. Really. Magic oriented chapter. Got that magic meter. Okay. No, we're not going back. I thought he could examine that thing on the wall. The guard ship's about obviously bored with a steel or replacement or perhaps a call to arms. Uh, the guard's trying to protect me, and I know I can't leave. Yep. Uh, a curfew. With the war being so close, a curfew has been imposed. Traveling outside the hospital is not a safe thing to do, since intruders will likely be shot on sight. Yeah, okay. Peter, I was saying it's okay. Peter decides to remain inside. Give the letter to the mayor! The they're, you know, bombing the outside, but okay. Give the note to the guy! Okay, let's go up here. Oh, well, you could go there. I guess. No, why do the nurses keep wanting me to rest? So many med kits. Med kits everywhere. Nothing but casualties. Is there any purpose to just looking over here? No, okay. Hmm. They really have, like, just totally overhauled this cathedral. Isn't that, uh, heresy? Or blasphemy? I, I don't know. It wouldn't be heresy, but... What is that noise? It Okay, whatever. Maybe it's you trying to run all the time. Is that him struggling to breathe? It was him struggling to breathe. Damn, do you have asthma? <laughs> asthma? Asthma? <laughs> yeah, pull the bell. Pull the, pull the bell. Spin around. What am I supposed to do? Do the dirty though. Okay, okay. Well, uh, Maybe I give the soldiers orders to a soldier? You don't say! No. Maybe I go to each individual soldier and show them the soldier's orders. Or do I find Private Thompson? Well, time for some good old fashioned trial and error. Seems to be a lot of that in this uh, playthrough. Okay. Yes! The guard on post orders and begins to read them for exclaiming Bl Wow. Moody L. Lad. We must be on the offensive. By the orders he takes leaves this post. <laughs> okay, we're in France, but that was that was cockney if I ever saw it. Bloody L. Something bad happening here. Ha! Il's observant la subsistence. Vos lumière de nous. Zaina must have patriotic feelings. These posters declare that the Allies are fighting the good fight. It's small comfort for the occupants of the room whose spent corpses line the cold cathedral floor. So, I wasn't paying attention. 
What is this? Oh yes! Yes, pick up that revolver! Yeah! Okay, that caught me off guard! Holy crap! This is gonna be horrible on YouTube! <laughs> Stacked like rags, Peter stands before the price of human war. The bloodied corpses of young men who have made their ultimate sacrifice to defend their own countries and those of others. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, let, let's... Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. You think changed? You are. Bianchi. Alright, you look you look normal. You're still the same, yep. Paul Luther. And uh Maximilian. Well, seriously, why didn't Lindsay or is it only for dead people? Only dead people show up here? Then again, Pius Augustus isn't dead. Oh well, whatever. Alright, let's pick up the tone. Same old, same old. Ooh, I only have six bullets. This is a bad mother, 1982. 1882 revolver was introduced prior to World War One. A double action pistol with six shots, wing out cylinder, chambered with chambered for eight millimeter front surface ammunition. Okay, we have to be careful with our bullets. Okay, where's the obligatory sword? Oh my god! Right when I pawn, I see a bone thief! Ah! It was a exactly that. And a bone thief. Ah. Uh, no. Run! 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 Oh, that's just horrible. Okay, um, we're gonna equip this and just. Run! Running is good. Running is... Oh my dear freaking lord. Where do I run to? I'm, I'm just running straight. Guard is dead. I need a melee weapon. Stat! Save! Please let me save! Oh my god! <laughs> Why the zombies? Why? There were, there were, what, five? Like two possessed people and then three? Yeah, maybe I should heal my sanity real quick. I need to really folk, like I really do need to set some of these to quick assign. Like some of the ones I use more often. Maybe the advantage, yeah, the um, Things that serve as a type advantage for Zelotov. Those, those would be really well to have. Uh, Quick assign. And healing health, healing uh, the sanity. Why have I not uh, done this up to level 5 yet? Uh, do it now. Go ahead and do that. What do you need? Nakarov, Santac. Okay. And before anybody gets mad at me again, yes, I do know that you only need to do this once, like for each spell now. I'm not going to go through each alignment. Yes, I'm going to talk about that in the previous video. And you know, I, I, I will you know, give them the. I, I will admit, like. You did technically say that before, but whatever. Hey, I, I, I didn't act real defensive to that, only because. That was an earlier video. I did figure this out in my last session, but you know, if he was watching yeah. the series, he didn't get up to that yet. So, okay, I'm, I'm not going to get defensive on that. I'm understanding, but yes, I do know I only need to do that once. So please, nobody else get mad at me. Okay. Uh. No, that was the wrong. Okay. Yay! That was a waste. Let us try that again. Luckily, it seems magic seems to restore. Oh, rats want some sanity too. Okay. What is this? In the air. 